Hi, I'm Shara Streeter, and when it comes to drywall finishing, I'm here to tell you, you can. In this video, I will share with you my knowledge of the techniques that I have learned over the many years of being a drywall finisher. I'll be covering everything from the tools to many different types of joint compounds. So many people love to redecorate and remodel, but absolutely dread having to finish the drywall. Well, that time is over. After you watch this video, you'll be showing your friends how easy it can be to finish drywall. I've seen it happen countless times when I show people the simple techniques to properly apply the mud, they really get excited. Well, remember, you can, and thank you for buying this video. It's your first step in the process of making your next drywall finishing job much easier. Let's get started by going shopping. Buying the proper tools and supplies is probably the second most important step that you can take. Going shopping for tools and supplies can be very confusing. There's so many fancy tools that you might ask yourself, what is this for and where do I use it? Okay, let's get started with the basics. The is crowned. You see how the blade rocks? The joint is crowned, so it needs to be split. So we're going to stay off the center. We're going to get an ample amount of mud on our knife. We're going to come up to each side. Come up each side, staying off the center of the tape. Okay, using our finger technique again with keeping as a steer, we're putting all our weight on the middle. We're getting it started. Pulling it up, cutting it off, get rid of it. Now putting our weight on the outside, getting it started, cutting it off. You may come across in your home that someone tried to patch and has made it on there and then they painted over it and they left this ridge on here um, and then no texture was put back on there. So we're going to scrape away anything loose. We've already filled our edge from the first one. So we're just going to get this one. The, the spot that was the worst needs a little bit prime more. Prime this spot with a uh, latex interior primer and then your color coat of paint, of course. And then that is ready to go. 